All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up your burette for uh, any sort of titration. So you're going to grab your burette. Notice the burette typically should have water filled in it at the end of its use uh, and stored that way. I've just drained the water into a waste beaker. So this is just a one liter beaker with waste labeled as waste. Um, once you drain it, uh, you want to make sure that you remove the cork at the top, otherwise it will not work for your titration later. And then you want to make sure, kind of inspect your stopcock, make sure it's assembled correctly. So you can see the Teflon stopcock, there's nothing on this right side. Uh, it gets pushed through and then on this other side there is a Teflon washer, which is that first white band then you have the o-ring and then you have this lock nut so if I were to unscrew this lock nut this would come out as an assembly of several different parts so you just want to make sure it's assembled correctly if the o-ring and the washer are switched or if the o-ring is not present then you may get leaking uh, which will affect your volume measurement in your titration Okay, so now you want to fill your burette. Do this by first adding your standard titrant into a 100 milliliter beaker shown in the bottom right, and then lower your burette so that it's below eye level. You may need to do this by overhanging the burette. Fill it up with 10 or 15 mils of the titrant, and then with a gloved finger or the original cork, invert three to five times to rinse out any uh, dilution factor from the water that was previous in the burette or any other memory effects. Then put it back in the stand and fill the burette completely to the top above the zero line to start your titration. Okay, so we are right at zero here. So the meniscus is sitting right at zero. Remember to look exactly eye level with the band, the gradation mark. The other thing to note here is you wanna inspect again the stopcock region for any bubbles. And typically those bubbles will manifest right about here. And you'll see them as these little air bubbles. If you have air bubbles in here, then that's displacing volume of your burette. So that will lead to a systematic error in your titration. You can also look for any bubbles uh, at the bottom of your uh, burette. If you identify these, you may need to add more titrant to the top, and then uh, a couple ways to get rid of those bubbles are to rapidly open and close your stopcock with the waste beaker position below it. Uh, and sometimes it could be uh, that doesn't work, so you open this up and you can kind of tap on the glass uh, to get that to be removed. Um, sort of uh, the, the last possible option is to try to close the stopcock uh, and put a stopper back in the top here and invert the burette rapidly back and forth to displace that air bubble 